Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to get on here real quick because I had a phone call this morning. An interesting phone call. Well, not really interesting, but it was um, pertaining to some a meeting to be set up, the information to be sent over to me. So as I provided my information, she asked me for my email. And I said, uh, it's trustandhalffaith at gmail.com. And she was like, how long have you had that email? I said, you know, since my youth. And those who know a little bit of my story know that um, God has been working on me since I was young. And after my incident. And so... I said, yeah, I think I was about in middle school or high school, but I believe I was in middle school now that I think about it because that's around, I think the time, I think Gmail was, came out or was getting popular, but yeah, I said, yeah. So I created my, so I created that when I was in um, middle school. And so I said, would inspire, you know, from my youth, you know, my, you know, my mom always had us in church. And so we would, you know, be part of the children's youth and stuff like that. I said, that's, that's what inspired me when I was young, because they basically prepared us at a young age to go out and minister. So we would go to the malls and stuff like that and ask people if they were saved or if they want to, you know, give their life over to Christ. Like we learned how to pray. Um, We had, of course we had a youth teacher but we would go out with our youth teacher and stuff like that and he would we would watch him do it and then when we got the confidence enough to do it he would allow us to do it as well and pray with people so I basically had that email from youth and she was like oh well yeah you can put yeah who 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 wouldn't you know have trust and faith in themselves I was like well no um and that's why I love to share this because I was like, no, the, my email doesn't stand for that. I said, it's about, trust. sorry, it cut off, but it's about, you know, having, trusting and having faith in the unseen God and believing in, believing in God. I said, um, it would be selfish to say I have trust and have faith in myself because ultimately I would not be here be here today if it was not for God. And this is what I told her. I would not be here if it wasn't for God's grace and mercy over my life. I said, um, that would be very selfish to say I I trust and have faith in myself. But I told her, you know, I trust and, you know, I trust and have faith in the unseen God, you know, our heavenly father. Um, I believe in him. I don't, put trust and faith in myself. I believe in myself by trusting and putting my faith in God, if that's a better way to explain it. But, you know, trusting and having faith in God is is ultimately helping you to believe in yourself because God is the only person that can take you from point A to point B um, in life when um, drastic things happen. And I just wanted to get on here and share that because I was like, that's that was a great, you know, conversation we had. And I believe that I could share with others and hopefully, you know, people who didn't don't understand, understand it's not about having trust and putting faith in yourself, but it's putting faith and trusting and putting faith in God, the unseen God and believing, believing in him, which which ultimately helps you to believe in yourself. I don't I don't even trust myself. You know, um, I put all my trust in God because we're still human. You know what I'm saying? So I can say, oh, I want to do this. But if it's not my father's will, I, I'm going to deny myself daily because I don't want to think ultimately what I'm doing and saying is the right way, which I know God's will is not my will. So ultimately, you want to deny yourself of your flesh and, you know, and how you do that is by, you know, fasting and praying and surrendering to the Lord. If that can help. Um, what else do I want to touch on? But yeah, you can believe in yourself, but ultimately put your trust and your faith in God and believe that he's going to get you through. Like I told her, if it was not for his grace and mercy, I would not be where I am today. I can't even tell you how I got to where I am today. 
if it had not been for the grace and mercy of God. But until next time, stay blessed and stay prayed up. And I hope that this um, helps you and helps you to understand and encourage you in your walk with God.